Hello everyone, welcome to Crime Alley Comics, and tonight we are doing episode 49 of the Comic Book Artist Spotlight. Our spotlight this week is going to be on Jock. His actual name, that's his pen name, but his actual name is Mark Simpson. But uh, I have a few Jock covers to show you, and, and of course I'll show some throughout this, but then I've got five books that I'm going to show you at the end of this. All of which are Batman books, of course. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this. So let's get started uh, talking about Jock. Mark Simpson, known by the pen name Jock, is a British cartoonist best known for his work in 2000 AD, The Losers, and more recently, Batman and Wolverine. He is also known for Witches by Image Comics. Jock began his professional career at British Comics Magazine, 2000 AD, on series including Judge Dredd and Lenny Zero, the later with writer Andy Diggle. It was with Diggle that he got his big break in the American comic book market at DC Comics and their Vertigo imprint, working on The Losers and Green Arrow Year One. Also at Vertigo, and with Mike Carey, another former 2000 AD writer, Jock worked on an issue of Hellblazer and the Faker limited series, returning the character John Constantine in the graphic novel Hellblazer Pandemonium with Jamie Delano. Following his run on Green Arrow, he got more work on main DC Universe titles in particular two storylines on Detective Comics, the first featuring Batwoman and the second Batman. Jock is also a prolific cover artist with a distinctive style. He has produced covers for several titles across all major publishers. On April the 9th, 2011, Jock was one of 62 comic creators that appeared at the IGN stage at the Kapow convention in London to set two Guinness World Records, the fastest production of a comic book and most contributors to a comic book. With Guinness officials on hand to monitor their progress, writer Mark Miller began work at 9 a.m. scripting a 20-page black and white superior comic book, with Jock and the other artists appearing on stage throughout the day to work on the pencils, inks, and lettering, including Dave Gibbons, Frank, I think it's Quietly, and John Romita, Jr., Addy Granov, Doug Braithwaite, Ian Churchill, Oliver Koppel, Duncan Fegredo, or Fegredo, Simon Furman, David Lafayette, John Macria, Sean Phillips, and Liam Sharp, who all drew a panel each with regular superior artist Linnell Yu, creating the book's front cover. The book was completed in 11 hours, 19 minutes, and 38 seconds, and was published through Icon on, 23, uh, well, on November 23rd of 2011. And they have it in here as 23 November 2011, but... Uh, with all royalties being donated to York Hill Children's Foundation. Uh, as far as movie work, Jock has contributed con concept paintings and key art to a number of film productions and promotional campaigns. These include Hancock, Battleship, Children of Men, Dread, Batman Begins, and X-Men Days of Future Past. He was the principal concept designer on Dread. He continued his work with Dread script writer Alex Garland on Garland's next film, Ex Machina, working on the AI robot Ava. Poster art. Jock has produced a number of silkscreen prints and poster art for Mondo, including The Divide, Zombie, The Last House on the Left, West of Memphis, the Dark Knight Rises, The Raid, Dread, Zero Dark Thirty, The Thing, Halloween, and Iron Man 3. For awards, 
In 2006, he was nominated for the Eisner Award for Best Cover Artist for The Losers, and in 2012, he was nominated for the Stanley Award for Best Artist for Detective Comics. Uh, the wa awards that he won in 2001, National Comic Award for Best New Talent for Judge Dredd in 2000 AD, tied with Frazier Irving for the Necronauts, also in 2000 AD. Uh, 2012, the Stan Lee Award for Best Ongoing Series for Detective Comics with Scott Snyder and Francisco Francavilla. And he also won the MTV, the 10 Best Movie Posters of 2010, uh, and that was for number 8 for the Losers Poster Art. Okay, now for 2000 AD Comics, he did Pulp Sci-Fi uh, with Gordon Reaney in number 1170 in 1999. Judge Dredd was the first one. And then uh, Shirley Temple of Doom with John Wagner in number 1193 through 1196. And number two, th or that was in 2000, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Crossing Ken Dodd with John Wagner in number 1214 in 2000 as well. Rampots with John Wagner again in number 1231 in 2001. Safe Hands with Gordon Rooney in 1273, uh, number 1273, that was in 2002. Tartan Terrors with Gordon Rooney again in number 1540 in 2007. And those were all under the Pulp Sci-Fi header, I guess you would call it. And these are all under 2000 AD comics. So uh, the next one was Tor Cyan with John Tomlinson. And under that one was Rahab in number 1295, 2002. Uh, and then Phage in number 1296 in 2002. And No Such Place in, 19, or in 12, number 1297 through 1299. And that was also in 2002. Then we have Judge Dredd Magazine for Fleetway. Judge Dredd with John Wagner, uh, and there was The Dead Ringer in Volume 3, Number 65 in 2000. Ten Years in Volume 3, Number 70 in 2000. And Lenny Zero with Andy Diggle. Lenny Zero in Volume 3, Number 68 in 2000. Uh, Dead Zero in Volume 4, Number 1 and 2 in 2001 and Wipeout in Volume 4, number 14 and 15 in 2002. Now we move on to DC Comics slash Vertigo. Hellblazer, the game of cat and mouse with Mike Carey in number 181, 2003. Pandemonium with Jamie Delano, that was a graphic novel in 2010. The Losers, number one through six. Number 9 through 12, 16 through 19, 23 through 25, 29 through 32. With Andy Diggle for Vertigo in 2000, 2003 to 2006. Next up, Faker, number 1 through 6 with Mike Carey for Vertigo in 2007 through 2008. Green Arrow, year 1, number 1 through 6 with Andy Diggle. DC Comics 2007 and under the Detective Comics uh, arc Cutters with Greg Rook, uh, I believe it's Ruka in number 861 through 863 in 2010 The Black Mirror with Scott Snyder in number 871 through 873 in 2011 Hungry City with Scott Snyder in 876 through 878 that was in 2011. My Dark Architect with Scott Snyder in numbers in number 880, and that was in 2011. The Face in the Glass with Scott Snyder and Francisco Francavella in number 881 in 2011. Then for Batman 
he did a simple case with Scott Snyder and Brian Azzarello in number 44, 2015. All-Star Batman, My Own Worst Enemy with Scott Snyder in number 1 through 5, 2016. Cold to the Core with Scott Snyder in number 6, Batman number 6, in 2017. Then for Marvel Comics, he did Art Dark X-Men, The Beginning, number 3. Uh, that was with Jason Aaron for Marvel in 2009. Savage Wolverine, writer and artist with Lee Loffridge. That was number 9 through 11 in 2013. 45, Amy Turner with Andy Ewington and 44 other artists in a graphic novel. And that was in 2010. Immortals, Gods and Heroes, The Hunt, script and art, and that was a graphic novel for Arkea Studios in 2011. Witches with Scott Snyder for Image Comics in 2014. Now for cover art, 2000 AD's number 1203, 1227, 1236, 1254, 1258, 1260, 1266, 1274, 1304, 1318, 1335, 1397, 1450, and 1503. Fleetway Rebellion Developments from 2000 to 2006. And then he did Judge Dredd uh, Magazine, Volume 3, Number 77 for Fleetway in 2001. Judge Dredd Magazine, Volume 4, Number 4 and 11, Fleetwood, or Fleetway, <laughs> 2001 through 2002. Judge Dredd vs. Aliens, Incubus, Number 4, Dark Horse in 2003. 2000 AD Extreme Edition, Number 1, Rebellion. 2003, King James number one, DC Comics 2004, The Losers number seven and eight, 13 through 15, 20 through 22, and 26 through 28 for Vertigo Comics in 2004 to 2005. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 177 and 178, DC Comics 2004, Detective Comics 797 through 800, and 809 through and 810. Uh, 859 and 871 through 881 DC Comics 2004 to 2012 I, I'm sure I probably have several of those <laughs> but uh, I didn't pull those out to show um, then the next one up is Catwoman number 43 DC Comics 2005 Batman number 642 through 650 and annual number 25 DC Comics 2005-2006 Nightwing number 118 through 124, DC Comics 2006. Swamp Thing number 26 for Vertigo Comics in 2006. Rush City number 1 through 6, DC Comics 2006 2007. Sculpted number 1 through 11, 13 through 17, and 21 through 60 for Vertigo Comics in 2007 through 2012. Push number one by Wildstorm in 2009 Thunderbolts number 127 for Marvel Comics in 2009 Die Hard Year One number one through four for Boom Studios in 2009 Batman Confidential number 33 DC Comics 2009 Deadlock number one for Dark Horse Comics in 2009 Greek Street number three through six Vertigo Comics 2009, Azrael number 1 through 3, DC Comics 2009-2010, Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, The Nightmare Warriors number 5 through 6 for Wildstorm Comics in 2009-2010. Uh, I wasn't aware that he did those. Um, I've heard of that before, that comic book before, but I didn't know he did the covers for them. Driver for Wildstorm number 2010, or in 2010 rather uh, that must have been a one-shot because it doesn't give a number or anything it just says driver for Wildstorm in 2010 Daredevil number 511 Marvel Comics 2011 
Daredevil Reborn, number one through four, Marvel Comics, 2011, Incredible Hulks, number 626, Marvel, 2011, Pigs, number one, <laughs> Image Comics, 2011, Marvel Universe vs. Wolverine, number three, Marvel Comics, 2011, Wolverine Max, number one through 15, Marvel, 2012, Uncanny, number one, Variant for Dynamite Comics in 2013, and Jupiter's Legacy number two, uh, the variant cover for Image in 2013. And that is all I have on Jock or Mark Simpson, if you want to go by his real name. <laughs> so now I will show you the books that I pulled to show you tonight. First one up being Detective Comics number 1000. And down here at the bottom you can see his signature. That's Jock's signature there on the corner. The Batman Who Laughs number one Batman Who Laughs number two number three Very creepy looking, but cool. <laughs> Number four. And those are the books that I pulled to show you of Jock. If you enjoyed this video, I ask that you would hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to be notified uh, of my upcoming videos. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight for episode 49. I can't believe we're only three away from having a full year of these spotlight videos done. So three more weeks and we will be at a year. Actually, it'll be just a little over a year because I did have to skip a couple of times to the next week or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, I'm uh, really enjoying doing this series with you guys, and I hope you're benefiting from it as well, because that's the purpose behind me doing it, is to help you guys be able to realize who, what artist is doing what covers, and that way, if you are looking for their covers, um, hopefully this will help you out in the wild to acquire some of those books <laughs> so with that I will let you all go thank you very much for joining me God bless and we'll see you all next video